Meghan Markle claims she is best friends with Meryl Streep. She keeps calling Meryl Streep's name during her interview, but Meghan Markle has been recently shamed as Meryl Streep publicly insult her. Only Murders in the Building's third season will feature Meryl Streep. Steve Martin announced on Wednesday, January 18, 2022, that 73-year-old Oscar-winning actress has joined the cast of the popular Hulu series as season 3 filming has officially started. Only Murders in the Building Season 3 has started filming. A cast to dream of, Martin, 77, set on Twitter next to a black and white image featuring Selena Gomez, Martin Short, and newcomer Paul Rudd beaming beside Streep and Martin. Martin's tweet was addressed by the show's Twitter account, which wrote, It is an honor to have Meryl in our building. In addition, Selena Gomez confirmed the filming for the upcoming season in an Instagram video. Could this get any better? she said as she panned the camera around the room, introduced the main cast, and turned to Rudd. I think it could get better, Rudd said after which Streep approached from behind. Selena fang at the end of the video to show her admiration for the actress. Three strangers who become friends through a shared interest in true crime are the subject of the comic series. Mabel, Oliver, and Charles team up to find the murderer after a mystery death happens in their New York apartment building. As the second season of the show was still airing on Hulu in July 2022, a renewal was announced. Paul Rudd would be returning after making a brief appearance as fictitious star Ben Glenroy, it was announced following the season 2 finale, according to Us Weekly. Given their close connection, Camilla chose Diana's favorite designer for coronation. The iconic designer who has dressed some of the most famous women in the world has been chosen by the Queen Consort to create her gown for the coronation. After their friendship, Camilla, Queen Consort picked renowned fashion designer Bruce Oldfield to create her coronation gown. Many of Princess Diana's 1980s costumes were created by Mr. Oldfield, who was also well known as one of the fashion icon's favorites. The 72-year-old fashion designer has declined to confirm his choice, responding to inquiries with what can I say? Yet a source informed The Sun, in many respects, it is the logical and natural decision because Camilla and Bruce have a long-standing, strong connection. Bruce has earned Camilla's trust by consistently providing her with dresses for significant occasions in recent years. The late Princess of Wales was acquainted with the designer for 10 years, and he dressed her for numerous glamorous events, referring to her as his ideal client. He stated, I realize how relentless it was for her. She was indeed attired as though she were attending a wedding every day. Before establishing his first store in 1984, Mr. Oldfield started creating couture garments in 1978. He received an OBE in 1990, and for the past 10 years, he has dressed the new queen consort for a variety of occasions. He fashioned her a lace dress in a pale turquoise color for a 2013 tour of Sri Lanka, and it received accolades. She wore a stunning silver dress to the state opening of Parliament in 2015, and she also looks stunning in ensembles for the Royal Ascot Horse Race in 2021 in the James Bond film No Time to Die two years ago. I gave Diana her glitz and Camilla her confidence, he claimed. In an effort to upcycle the jewels, it was announced earlier this month that Camilla would don Queen Mary's crown for the coronation in May. She will take out the contentious Koh Noor diamond, which several nations, including India, claim as their own. In a poignant tribute, the crown will also be changed and embellished with a few of the late Queen's diamonds. Charles is rumored to be breaking centuries of custom by donning a military uniform rather than breeches and silk stockings.